Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. You guys know I'm a huge CVA fan. We've had a bunch of them on the channel from muzzle loaders to some of the new center fire stuff. I preach it to you guys all the time. CVA is flat awesome. But I'm here at the NRA annual meeting with the man himself, Tony Smotherman. He's an expert on everything here at this booth. So a little I'm strong on the expert, just so you know. No, he is, he is, he's just too humble. But we're gonna just do a real quick and dirty run through the CVA booth. In case you didn't make it to NRA and show you everything that CVA's got going on up here. So what do we got behind us? And we'll just run down the booth. Well, guys, first of all, welcome to NRA convention this year. And I will tell you this, I'm a pretty tall dude and I don't get the opportunity to look up to guys often. But this guy right here in person is a huge man, just so you know. You wore your boots too. So. <laughs> I know, I know. All right, well, so who do number one, welcome here to the CVA booth. This right here um, is kind of one of our flagship models. This is our Acura. So in our Acura line, we have two different versions. We have Acura MRX and also the LRX. MRX is up top. Um, some of the similar features in both of these rifles is my favorite is the adjustable cheek piece, which yep. is great for running big optics that people run on muzzle loaders today. Um, but the, the main difference between the MRX and the LRX is barrel length. MRX is a 26 inch barrel, LR is a 30 inch barrel. So that's the biggest difference between the two. Both of these are available uh, in 50 caliber and also a 45 caliber. So it comes apart in three pieces in a matter of about two seconds. And they've all got the easy breech plug down. Yep. Yep, so um, this here is kind of uh, fluid across all lines of our muzzle loaders. The quick removable breech plug. Basically, this is the only breech plug on the market that doesn't actually come with a tool to take it out because you can always remove it just with your fingers. So very easy to get in and out. Um, also it takes full 11 rotations to rotate the breech plug out. So it's still very safe, but also quick removable at the same time. So three that, pieces. That really works. I've got it on mine and it's never once got stuck. It will not. I keep it greased up and clean, but it's never got stuck. You know, another feature about these here too is uh, it's, there's multiple different propellants on the market today, pelletized and loose powder. Uh, I'm a big loose powder fan. I feel it's the most accurate of all, uh, but there's a lot of guys out there that do like to use pellets and they do work great. Uh, a little simpler too, because you obviously don't have to measure those you don't have to measure them. They come in 50 grain charges. Of, um, right, and if you're hunting at 50, 100 yards, it might not matter. So it, well. it does not matter. So when we send these guns out to you, uh, it's gonna have two different breech plugs in it. Both of them, the quick removable version, but one is built actually for pelletized powder yep. and it's for loose powder. Yep. So if you um, try to figure out what you wanna do, you don't know what you're gonna do, both breech plugs come with a gun so you can make a choice once you pick that up from the store. So, Sweet. yep, really cool thing. And that is uh, basically across the board with our muzzle loader for the QRBP is. Um, as we work our way down yeah, the line. Yeah. Real quick before we leave these. Okay, yeah, go ahead. All of these come with threaded barrels? See, all of these here have threaded, yes. And, and the reason being is a lot of guys are, are into running muzzle brakes now on muzzle loaders, uh, which years past, nobody ever done that, but it's kind of a thing today. And, and so we thread these from the factory. So when you get them, you can, in fact, run a muzzle brake if you're a little bit recoil shy. I know you're not because you're a big guy, but. I'm not, but it, if it's out there, then I'll certainly use it. <laughs> For sure, man. Yeah. All right, as we work our way down the booth here, this is our Optima line, kind of middle of the road for everybody. Uh, right here, this is our Wolf version here. So we have uh, a, a little shorter, more compact gun. Uh, then we have mid-range Optima. You see it comes in a couple different uh, color combos. We have uh, stainless steel, we have uh, nitride, which is the black barrel. So if they're black, they're not a blue barrel. That's one thing to think about. Um, everybody talks about muzzlers being very nasty to use. Uh, when we have stainless steel barrels and we run them through the nitride process, they're impervious to any kind of rust or corrosion, and that's black powder corrosion or weather corrosion. Uh, so really a key feature on a lot of the guns is the nitride process. And that inside the barrel too. So nitride process is black on outside, black on inside. It's not just a coating. And basically we run it through a salt bath and it pulls the carbon out of this stainless steel and brings the carbon to the exterior surface. And there's two exterior surfaces on a muzzle loader. One the outside that you actually see and on the inside that you don't yeah. see, which makes it impervious to corrosion. Um, and this gun here is a, is a new camo color combo for this year uh, with the Realtree Escape pattern, burnt bronze, Cerakote. So this gun here is stainless steel barrel that's been nitrided that also has a Cerakote coat on top of it per se. So yeah, so really cool features there on the Optimas, which is mid-range for everything. Uh, and then down to the Wolves, which is our more entry level. 
Does it make it less accurate? Absolutely not. Just more I've cost. I've actually got videos of my wolf, same hole. Oh, they're shooters. They're shooters. And one of the greatest options on a wolf, my opinion, is this spacer here in the back, so adjustable length of pull. So if you're a young person starting out, obviously a great gun. And this gun is could be an heirloom gun to where that you put the spacer back in it once the young person grows up and you can put the spacer back in it so you got full length of pull. Or if you're an adult and you want a budget-friendly muzzle loader, the wolf is the one. So you don't actually uh, lose accuracy with a less expensive muzzle loader. So while I'm thinking about it, iron sight muzzle loader. Mm -hmm. So this one's a wolf with them. Are there any other models that? So so iron there are several states out west that you have to use iron sights on a muzzle loader, which I'm not a big fan of. But there's a lot of states that are that way. Most of them are out west. Colorado being the number one. Um, a few things to think about when you're hunting big game in Colorado with a muzzleloader. Number one, yes, you do have to use open sights. And for elk or bear, it has to be 50 caliber. So in our Acura family, we make a 50 caliber open sight gun specifically for those western states where those restrictions are in play. Yeah. So yes, sir, we sure do. In the Acura model only, though. All right. So let's work our way down the booth here. So. CVA's always been known as blue collar Americans muzzle to manufacture, but we also manufacture other things now too called the CVA Cascade. And I know you played with the CVA Cascade. Huge fan, huge fan. I'm a huge fan too. Put this gun on the market, or actually, let me back up. Before we put it on the market, when we started thinking about putting a bolt gun in our lineup, we wanted to make it number one budget friendly, but also wanted to load it down with a lot of accessories, a lot of cool features. So adjustable length of pull so there's a spacer here in the back that you can remove this spacer here and it takes an inch length to pull out so if you're a smaller frame person or a youth just like we talked about in the wolf we have a full adjustable trigger assembly uh, the bolt throw on this gun where most guns are a 90 degree bolt throw and that's working the bolt up and down all cascades have a 70 degree bolt throw which makes running or working the bolt faster yep. um, as we work our way down the front the cascade xt has a fluted barrel it also has been nitrided, makes it impervious to weather like we talked about in the muzzle loaders. It's fractured with a muzzle brake, so it's threaded if you want to run a suppressor too. So we got adjustable length of pull, adjustable trigger assembly, drop mag, 70 degree bolt throw, nitride, and also threaded muzzle. Also. And they're very, very accurate rifles. They are extremely accurate. They're in all the, most of the common calibers, even some of the new PRC stuff. Oh, I'm, I'm a PRC fan, so you ain't got to so sell it on me, it, man. I'm a PRC I guy. I took a white tail with Rick with the 6.5 PRC last year. So, oh, 6.5 PRC is, uh, is amazing. But it's a very uh, feature-rich rifle for around the $700 price point. And, and for the price, you can't beat them. Another thing I preach about the Cascades is the trigger. Oh, man. Trigger is amazing. You can't get a trigger like that in anything else for that price. You know, and, and, and another thing, too, that I like about this gun is, is we build everything on this gun from the butt pad all the way down to the muzzle brake. We build everything out. So a really cool feature here, um, or a really cool futuristic gun that is price point friendly for the Blue Collar American's pocketbook. All right, and we'll work our way down. So we got another Cascade in the family here. This is a Cascade SB, or short barrel. I get asked a lot about these. I would say probably in the Cascade family, this is probably the most popular one. Number one for guys right now, everybody is very interested in running suppressors. I know I can't hear too well because I didn't run suppressors. I am running suppressors now. <laughs> I am running suppressors now. So the Cascade SB has all the features of other Cascade models, the standard Cascade, the Cascade XT, which is the one with the fluted barrel. Um, so all the standard features, just a short barrel. So if you're running a suppressor, obviously a suppressor is gonna be 18 inches long. So it makes it a whole lot easier to maneuver in a blind and a tree stand, things like that. Uh, the SB is a short barrel and super handy for running cans. Yeah, a lot of people say, oh, I, I want the longest barrel I can get, but I've shot the 6.5 Creedmoor to 800 yards. You're not With an SB. that much speed. Yet. That's right. You know, it, so you do lose some muzzle velocity, of course, and everybody understands that with a shorter barrel. But the greatest thing about that is, is the optics that we run today have adjustable turrets on most of them for long range shooting. So you can adjust the dope on those scopes to still make a short barrel gun run 800 to 1,000 yards. Yep. Sweet. And these are 300 blackout, 6.5 Creedmoor. Right. 
or a 3082? Uh, there's 300, did you, did you say 300 blackout? Yeah. Okay, yes, 300 blackout, yep. So guys, that is it. That is it for the CVA booth. For more information on anything CVA, number one, you can hit Hootie Who up because he's a big fan, or you can go to CVA.com for any information on anything we make from center fires all the way down to our Cascade family. Tony, Bro, appreciate you. Thank you, sir. CVA booth at the NRA Annual Convention. Appreciate y'all. We'll see y'all the next one. Take care, guys.